Welcome back to the ACS Brief from the Frontline Surgeon Voices. With me today, it's a great pleasure to welcome back a very dear friend and one of our stellar alumni from Cleveland Clinic, Florida, Dr. Art Haranyakis. Dr. Haranyakis is the Colorectal Institute Chair at the prestigious Bangkok Hospital Phuket, and he is also the Thai Chapter Governor for the ACS. Welcome, Art. Thank you for having me. Well, we're very happy to have you here today and have a few minutes to share with us some of the workings of the Thai chapter. We're going to be speaking with a variety of, of chapter governors and officers from around the world and would like to start out by asking you, what is the size of the Thai chapter? We have altogether about 200 fellows in Thailand. And what kind of practices might those fellows have? Fortunately, we have a variety of disciplines of surgery in our chapter. For example, liver surgeon, hepatobility, pancreatic surgeons, vascular surgeons, minimally invasive surgeons, and of course, like colorical surgeons and surgeons who are interested in head and neck surgery and breast surgery as well. Great. So really the house of surgery, as is the case in the U.S. and, and, and throughout the world, it's good to see that same kind of reflection. What are some of the activities that the Thai chapter undertakes? We actually involve locally and within the region and internationally, like globally as well. We are trying to strengthen our chapter by advertising and then finding new fellows. And at the same time, we are organizing regular academic activities roughly two times a year. The first one is involved with the annual meeting of the Royal College of Surgeons Thailand, which would have the gathering of all the surgeons within the country to come together and discuss for the updates and regulations and the future plans. So we have regular activities with both lectures, panel discussion, and very interesting to other residents. We also have scientific paper awards for the residents, for the best presenters. And then the other activities would be roughly around the end of the year, that would be in an international symposium, which would be gathering the regional ACS chapters, of course, and then global ACS fellows to come together to do an update activities and try to meet up and come up with some plans for the following years. Sounds like a robust service provided by, by the Thai chapter. What is the value, just thinking it from the point of view of a, of a Thai surgeon? So how would you define the value that a Thai surgeon brings to his or her patients by being active in the Thai chapter of the ACS? I myself have been involved in the Thai chapter since 2011, and I became the president of the chapter in 2019. And this year, I became a governor representing the chapter. I think the quality of surgery is not only involving with the standard of the practice, but also the knowledge, the updates, and the skills, of course, of the surgeons. Surgical education is the, the backbone of all this. We are trying to involve surgeons within the country, trying to get them into the chapters and trying to organize the academic activities, not only to update the knowledge. Sometimes we do have a hands-on workshops to improve the skills and to teach them the new techniques for surgery. And at the same time, we do organize some policies for patient safety during our practice, uh, make sure that the, the system is helping us to facilitate a high quality and safe surgery for the patients. Well, thank you. Certainly sounds like you're reflecting the values and the mission of the American surgeons uh, and not surprisingly, a very capable and high fidelity model uh, in Thailand. So thanks for your time today. Thanks for bringing the message of the college to the surgeons of Thailand, and therefore hopefully improving outcomes of patients throughout the country. Appreciate your time and your efforts. Thank you very much for, for your time. Thank you.